Love. Love Line is meant for an adult audience. For an adult audience. Love Line may contain sexually oriented content. With sexually oriented content. Listener discretion is advised. Listener discretion is advised. This is Love Line. Love Line. Love Line. Love Line. Love Line. With Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Yes, it is. Hello there, kitties. It's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Dr. Drew is a board certified physician and an addiction medicine specialist. And uh, tonight, it gives me great pleasure to welcome to the show Tom Burbine. Tom is, uh, I'm going to call an astrophysicist, a planetary science specialist. Yeah. Scientist. I think you get laid faster with that okay, astrophysicist. Right. And uh, Tom was uh, one of the uh, two very generous people that donated $15,000 to come on this program to the uh, Tsunami Relief Fund. We went out to dinner with uh, Tom and his uh, lovely uh, boy toy, Kevin. Cohort. Yeah, I, I don't think they're dating, but I'm positive they're having sex. <laughs> and because uh, they followed me out to the... Uh, out to the station, and I couldn't see Tom's head most of the time. I was looking in my rear view. They oh, drove together. Dude, yeah, Kevin had a very satisfied look on his face. <laughs> it was miss, missing a lot of shifts. So, I, I Tom is uh, is is an interesting story, but I'll, I'll let him I'll let him tell it on the air. What what brought you here, Tom? Uh, I've been listening to the show for a year <laughs> since 1999. While I was working on my PhD thesis, I would listen to Loveline at, at MIT. At MIT, I would mm -hmm. listen to Loveline from 10 to 12 and write my thesis. <laughs> so I listened and I was inspired. And the, one of the first episodes I heard was when Pennywise like barricaded you in the studio, mm, yeah. and I thought this is the greatest show. <laughs> then I, um, by the way, that was not a good time. Uh, yeah, I you didn't ask tell. us to tell you that whole story. It's a yeah. whole story there. And, and, and in true Poo Poo City, we have a lot of. Uh, uh, stoned, semi-retarded listeners. Well, most all of them. Who a MIT? It's like hey, he goes to school that makes myths. I think is, <laughs> is, is what they they think. Explain a little. Uh, do a little. Blow a little. Uh, air up uh, MIT's ass for yeah. a second. Would you MIT please? stands for Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It's the top engineering school. All the science sciences are either one or two, usually tied with Harvard or uh, Caltech. I was a uh, planetary science major, so I did research on asteroids. And yeah, it's it's a fun place. They had lots of monies. I, uh, monies. Yeah. <laughs> I was able to take trips every year. I went to Prague. I went to Berlin. Wow. I went to Copenhagen, and it, it was fun. I saw Bill Gates there. Uh, Wow, like nerd off, yes. calling all nerds yeah. showdown. And since everybody was so, you, you hear that? <laughs> you know the uh, good, bad, and the ugly whistle. <laughs> Tom goes for his pocket protector. Gates reaches for a slide rule. <laughs> and since everyone was so nerdy there, I was considered yeah. one of the cool guys. No, I know you. You are like the the Chuck Heston of nerds. Yes, yes. I would date the prettiest girls who lived in my dorm. All uh, relative. People wanted to hang out with me because I seemed like I was having the fun time. No, better. Yeah, yeah, no. It's better. I'm better to be the starting quarterback of nerds than sort of the third string guy on the football team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yes, yes. It, it's yes. like it's like sometimes when they say, uh, you know, the guy. There's that one guy. Everyone, every, every, all the other guys are playing like uh, rugby and and uh, baseball, and this guy takes the ballet class, right. and everyone makes fun of him until right. they realize he's it's him and 26 chicks who have eating right. disorders and right. low self esteem, and he has to work them out and right. stuff. It's like, no, wait a minute, genius, smart. So that's rude. Yes, Tom. Yeah, and the girls King are much of the nerds. And the girls are much hotter there than you would think. They're much hotter. I mean, really? Yes, yes. You walk around campus, you'd be shocked at what the girls look like. So he's, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Don't, shocked? Don't, don't hold your breath. And so <laughs> so he now teaches or is doing research and teaching in the Pioneer Valley where I went to college. Yeah. And he brought us gifts from the Pioneer Valley. I love that, Drew. How how often do I bring look at that? Look at Pioneer wait, wait, show Valley. him that. The, the, the look at this. Look at that. Yeah, that's Amherst. That's Drew's alma mater. Jeffrey Amherst Bookstore. Lord Jeff smoking a, a four-foot-long pipe and reading. With a little smallpox mixed in there. Yeah. The so, so I wanted to get you something that had some meaning, so I got you an Amherst College T-shirt. Oh, God bless you. And Drew, uh, that's big stuff that for you. huge. Oh, that's awesome. Go, and, Lord Jeff. Um, nice. Uh, 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 and, I am your best buddy. And I also got you an Amherst College mug. Oh, that's huge. I'm in heaven. 
It's huge. And, uh, My colleagues never send me anything. Oh, really? Except requests for money. Uh, I will make sure you uh, speak there. Thank I will you. make a <laughs> request. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure, this is your new mug. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, right this second. Yeah. And Adam, I wanted to get you to have as much meaning for you as uh, Jews Alma Mater is to him. So I got you a Taboo 2 DVD. Oh, oh my God. God. You can never Good. have enough of those. I'm sure you no, have no, many. No, no, I, I, have I, have, I have two, but now one for the SUV. <laughs> yes. They, ever since they put the th monitor in the headrest, I've oh, been looking for uh, something to do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I might break into the theme at some point tonight, too. Oh, yeah. And, bec and because I got two Drew presents, I figured I'd you get a second one. And yeah. at dinner, you said you'd never seen this. I got you New York Minute. Oh, oh awesome. Oh, oh, oh. This is great. <laughs> we watched that all afternoon. We critiqued it. We uh, we were so impressed they laughed, with the movie. They laughed. excited. You could have got uh, me Drew's book, too. I haven't seen that. <laughs> yeah, he knows better than doing that. That won't get read. Well, when James Earl uh, Jones does it on tape, yeah, I can, uh, you can get me that. That is awesome. Look at that. Um, we got to watch the outtake of the, the the ending that didn't actually make it into the movie. Listen, I, I, the, I will. I, I guarantee. Look, you're talking to a guy who just got done watching all three karate, the Karate Kid trilogy, <laughs> and the fourth one actually with uh, with the chick. So. Oh. Uh, I will watch this as soon as I get home. And Thank you, Tom. What? And I got you more. some food. Wow. Oh, my a God. A gourmet popcorn. Wow. And in a oh. tin, just yeah. in case you're ever trapped here and need to use that as a toilet, uh, yeah. we got that just in case. And this is a step up as in toilets, I mean, compared yeah. to what you were picking Well, the, the decorative uh, tin I used to crap yeah. into was oh, a little bit taller. Caramel tall. Rocky Road. Adam, wow. Please. Wow. Drew will go oh. right through this. Mm. Oh, my God. Mm. Um, oh, my God. What a man you are. Yes. Yeah. Only the best for you guys. All right. I want to talk. Um, all right, Drew, put, put that lid on there. Is it empty enough to crap in yet, or should we have a few more? <laughs> <laughs> It'll stick on there like a Wait, pecan log. Pounds, too. Yeah. All right. Tom um, Tom knows uh, more about the asteroids and outer space than anyone we're ever going to get on this show. Um, I'm curious. Oh. I'm cur I've got about 1,000 hundred thousand questions but i guess everyone's number one thing is is uh what killed the dinosaurs and uh when is something big going to hit this planet and and better yet what how much notice really would we have if something was really on a collision course with this planet and what could we do about it it depends i mean there's nothing big that's going to hit the earth in the near future so we've seen most we've seen a lot of the asteroids probably bigger than a kilometer and there's nothing on a collision course but a lot of times small stuff like a few hundred meters we don't see till it actually passes the earth so it could actually hit the earth and there's stuff all over space now, now when you say passes the earth you mean it could go around it and slingshot Yes, it, you, it, but the, most of these things are actually in orbit around the sun. They're now in the orbit around the Earth. But as it's passing, is there a certain distance from the Earth at which point you, it comes into view? Yes, yes. Usually, um, the bigger it is, it's easier to see. And so, Generally, give it an average. Uh, these things go from the biggest asteroids about... No, but I mean, would it be an hours before you... you it, it depends. If something's on collision course, we, mu we might see it or we might not. So at some, all. Yes. A lot of these things actually burn up in the atmosphere, so right. you we just... So just, really, really, something could be on a collision course, something of a substantial size, yeah. and we might not see it. Yes, yes. There's telescopes, but they don't see everything. They, it's very underfunded. They spend money, but not that much money. It's usually some old guys sitting in a telescope um, yeah. looking for these things. They now, do I've seen the movie. The guy's always sipping from a flask and nodding off when he catches <laughs> a glimpse of something, yes. and then he gets on the hotline. Yeah. Before you know it, you're waking the president up. Yeah. Wait, what's the president? Is it always four in the morning when something hits? <laughs> Can't be noon. Never present. Just bright-eyed and bush tail. Hello, president. Yeah, I'm awake. What's up? He always has to do a thing where he goes for his glasses and says, "Sweet love of Christ." You know what I mean? I gotta wake yep. everyone up. Yep. Oh, no, why no, not? Nothing no. could happen at noon. Of course not. Yeah. All right.